In situations where a property can have a limited amount of options, we can associate those options with constants. And that's exactly the case here with our game type. We only have four options for our game type. Other common cases are days of the week or seasons or months. And we're gonna deal with that using enumerations. Essentially, we're going to create a type, an enumeration type, that's gonna be associated with an integer. So let's see how it works. We're going to say internal enum game type and then declare our four game types. And if we hover over each option, we can see the integers that they are associated with. By default, the enumeration starts in zero and each constant is incremented by one, but I can explicitly associate any integers that I want to my options. So now our game type, instead of a string, is of the type game type. So now the add to history method in the helpers class, you receive a game type as a parameter. And in the game engine class, each game now has to pass a game type, not just a string. And this is a good example of what happens when we don't use an using directive. The reference becomes really long. So instead, let's just say game type and then use the IDE to bring the using directive into the code. And now let's do the same with the other games. Now let's quickly play a game to see if it works. And if we use a breakpoint and hover over the game type, now we can see that it's not a string anymore, it's our actual game type. And everything works just as before, but our code is even cleaner.